Hello, I'm Mandy. I am running my own art art studio uh, because I'm an artist, and then being an artist was my dream. Um, for so for this hundred days in in my uh, in my studio, I just want to share with you what's the daily life like in the studio. And uh, um, sometimes can be very boring. Like yesterday, uh, in the morning, I packed. Um, I prepared one uh, one workshop kit uh, for posting because um, someone ordered it online and and then for the rest of the day I was editing photos so just because yesterday I spent uh, um, like maybe an hour prepare that um, uh, product so now I, I I just took another one here I just want to talk about um, product from your art studio um, for when we're running an art studio um, if it's not okay, so what do I want to say? If if we want to make um some products based on based on our, our artwork, it's very simple. It will be um uh just print out your artwork, um mugs, uh kitchen tower, uh you know there's a list of things you can do um in the for the gift market but if you want to teach people how to do art and then you can uh, it's another it's very popular for a lot of artists start to do workshops and to teach what, what they know about so for me i choose uh, to teach uh, silk painting so i made this product to uh for 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 beginners to get to try their first um first silk painting so this product this one um it's i i record um workshop online so if they have this kit and to teach them step by step how to use it this is one of my product and then um but for a product and how to turn our work uh, our, our workshop into a product it's basically not just like uh, if we can teach that's enough uh we need to have the packaging design we need to think about the performance and then we need to teach people how to use it if uh sometimes like if it's, if it's original product is if it's not like something already in the market and you you need to teach your customer how to, how to use it so uh now i just talk about the, the package and then the costs so i i designed this and uh, uh, printed in my studio or all the um, this is just a uh, the outside box it's just a, a regular postal cardboard box um, I ordered from Amazon and I I printed out the this label like the cover for the box it's uh, just a regular also yeah a full uh, like you know full la label sheet sticker sheet and then the, the white one and I make the design and I print it out and I put it on the top and inside of here I have uh, 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 my stew uh, and I said like I prepared this for you I hope you enjoy it and I have my studio name underneath I think yeah oh uh, and inside here um, I prepare this pack um, and a little color set and here's paintbrush and um, palette and here is a uh, to is a checklist for the customer to see what's in this box so basically it's a lot of work and um, the, and this product will not make money until I hired people to do the package for me because when I am um, um, doing it myself and it's uh, it take me about an hour or even more um, there's many reasons why small art, small art studio is difficult to make money. Uh, it's because of the cost of time, because um, because we don't have that uh, capital capital coming, and also for new for for a small studio, small art studio, we don't have a lot of capital, and and we we want to keep our cash from cash flow. Uh, instead of buying a lot of things if i buy if i uh, increase the number of everything i buy for to uh, to make this product 
for example, if I buy a hundred or a thousand or ten thousand, it's a, the the price is a massive difference. Even for the cover box, uh, if I buy a hundred, it's probably uh, costs half price as uh, when I buy fifty. And then and then if I buy five hundred, the cost keep going down. And then but then if I buy five hundred, and then the the cost for each box, it's less. But then the amount of the whole, you know, the the um, <laughs> the amount of the money I need to spend is increasing, and that means uh, if if I only have a hundred pound to buy things, I need to think about uh twenty percent need to pay for the energy, and twenty percent I need to keep it for the rent, and then twenty percent I need to order materials i can't put all the hundred percent just to buy the package so we need to have a balance to um balance out how we use our capital yeah so um, this took a lot of time and that's uh, one of the reasons why uh handmade things are not doesn't have a lot of profit uh if you want to do something if you I would say if you go for quality and then uh it's it's difficult to, to to make a lot of money through what you do. And but I have that there. I have this idea here, if it's popular. I know I, I can see the potential of this product, but uh, not until I I mass produce it, it will not make me any money. So but I just keep it going because I'm getting my experience. Um, um, doing it every time I prepare it, I can see like which part I can in the, in the future I can give it out, I can hire people to do, and which part I have to hold it and do it only do it myself. So, this are really like um, uh, experience, and this experience you can't be buying by money, it can only come with time. And every time when you make a mistake, and then it will come. So, and then I spend uh, after I post. I didn't post it. I, I ordered the I ordered the pickup, so they will probably come pick up today. Um, for the rest of the day, I was doing. I was editing photos, so okay. I also gonna show you on my computer what photo I've been editing, and then to make it more, you know, um, so you don't have to use your imagination to imagine something you're not familiar with. So here, oh, I'm just going to use my phone for this. Um, okay, so now this is my computer screen you're looking at. Um, I'm using this app. Oh, not, it's not an app. It's a software <laughs> um, to organize my, my, to prepare my photos. And uh, last week, I have took the photo of my new products. It's not a new product. I had them for a while, but I never figure out how to take photos. So in total, I have 660 photo to, uh, took for, the, for how many? For 29 products. And then this... The photos are going to use for my Etsy shop here. I just had that save as draft. And I will tell you just a minute what I learned from the photo editing. Um, so, when, these are the photos I spending five min, five to 10 minutes on each. Let me, let me find the, uh, okay. No, it's too dark. You probably can't see the difference. This one. See, these are the pictures I spend like uh, five to ten minutes to blur the background and everything. Um, and then so for each list, there is eight photos. And then let's say five minutes. So, so eight eight photos that took me forty minutes for per per list. And uh, that's fine. I got time, but I get so bored after the number 
12. And it make me like, I didn't want to get up because I know the job waiting for me was so boring. So yesterday I decided I'm not going to do editing it like that. Um, basically, customers won't be able to see much different. You see, like now I didn't blur the background much, but then can you see the difference? And then for yesterday when I editing the photo, I only spent five minutes for each list, uh, like five minutes for eight photos. So compared to 40 minutes for eight photos and five minutes for eight photos, I, I just speed a lot. And now I'm going to come back. So I'm back to you to tell you what the lesson I've learned. And so yesterday I, the first week, I spent maybe three days for 12 list. This is my product book. And yesterday I spent a, a whole afternoon, but I edited all the rest of the photos I need. And today I can just focus on doing, I can put them on my Etsy shop and I can move on to do something more interesting or something I have to, uh, something have to be done. Um, so I want to say this. Before, when I was editing each photo, um, spend five to ten minutes. I, I was like, I want to. I was thinking in my head, I want to make this photo the best way I can, which is the right. That was the the right attitude at the moment because I was thinking, I, I'm gonna enjoy my work. I'm gonna enjoy everything I do. So, and I'm gonna bring the best result for everything I'm doing. So I spend a lot of time to you know to to blur the background which the background looks fine because i painted that background it's look um uh it's have some texture on it but the point is i i get sucked into details for each photo i spend so much time to make it look perfect but then you know nobody else will pay that attention when we're doing something when we when we try too hard on doing something we end up not enjoying it but then we're just looking for approval we were looking for um maybe i realized that wasn't because the photos it was me i was trying to prove i can do it and i was probably wasn't feeling qualified to do the photo to do the design and because i am not 100 i'm not a full-time uh designer i'm not a full-time uh, photo photo editor so so in, in my mind, I just want to do as good as a professional could do. And I, so I spent so much time on it. But then yesterday I was thinking, because and after, three or, after two or three or four days, as I said, I get bored very easy. I was like, I don't want to do that. And then uh, with, with that speed, I, the, the, here I have to, uh, 29 product. It's probably going to take me two months to upload it. In some way, if we are doing, I think that uh, all the artists, I, I believe all the artists have this problem. We want to make things perfect. And um, especially if you are if you are competitive like me like, uh, uh, or like to challenge yourself, you want to do everything the best. That's just very difficult and that's impossible. So I gave up on that and I kind of took myself out from that um, detail which was suck me in and i couldn't see the big picture and i so i stepped back yesterday afternoon i was thinking what's the purpose the purpose is to make my my picture look perfect or the purpose is to upload my list and then so the customer can see them as soon as possible because in business time is money um i know like i think it's um why we have so many like starving artists my, my neighbor and then my, and my other artist friends i know like um like there's a certain way of thinking and sometimes we just put something out and then and then we put them out again we try again we just put out and then uh, the works and nobody comes back and no, nobody said anything we just said oh like well there's no point doing that i better just stay there and painting and do creating but the thing is um why like we end up Having prob having trouble to you know feed our child, uh, pay the rents, and then go you know to Hawaii for holiday or shopping in Paris, and because um I think we don't put ourselves outside to the market enough, 
and a lot of it i believe it's we don't think we're qualified to be an artist i i i think it took me a, such a long time to realize being an artist is the it's the start of the career it's not the 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 end so once being an artist and then that means we start this journey to live a lifestyle like an artist but doesn't change me as a person because i'm still me and without me doing the artwork i'm still mandy and i'm still like you know have no filter and then talk whatever and stubborn i'm just because being an artist doesn't mean i have to shake myself for the all the artwork because art to be an artist is just choosing a lifestyle yeah so that is um, my day uh, <laughs> that was yesterday um, uh, what's happened in my studio and what's uh, inspired me to do the work and what's inside of me as well sorry I did that because people think I'm that <laughs> just kidding um, maybe but anyway uh, that is a day and today I start late I better start now later is better than never so i'm going to start now and i will let you know what's happening today in my studio and thank you for watching have a good day bye